Question 1. What is an atomic orbital? An atomic orbital is a mathematical function that describes the wave-like behavior of an electron in an atom. This function can predict the probability of finding an electron in a particular 3D region around the atom's nucleus. Orbitals have different shapes and sizes which are crucial in determining how atoms bond and react with each other. Question 2. What are quantum numbers? Quantum numbers are a set of numerical val values that provide important information about the electrons in an atom. They describe characteristics like energy level, shape and orientation of an orbital and the spin of an electron. There are four types of quantum numbers, principal, n, angular momentum, l, magnetic, m sub l, and spin, m sub s. Question three, what does the principal quantum number n represent? The principal quantum number n indicates the energy level and size of an electron. It can take any positive integer value, so for example, 1, 2, 3, etc. The larger the value of n, the higher the energy level and the larger the orbital. Question 4. What does the quantum number L represent? The angular momentum quantum number determines the shape of the electron orbital. It can take values from 0 to n minus 1 for each principal quantum number n. So the values of L correspond to different types of orbitals, 0 for S, 1 for P, 2 for D, and 3 for F orbitals. Question 5. Can you explain the magnetic quantum number M sub L? The magnetic quantum number M sub L defines the orientation of an orbital in space. Its values range from negative L to positive L, including zero. So for example, if L is one, or the P orbital, M sub L can be negative one, zero, or positive one, indicating the three different orientations of the P orbital. Question six, what is the spin quantum number M sub S, and why is it important? The spin quantum number indicates the spin orientation of an electron which can either be positive half or negative half. This property is important because it explains the magnetic properties of atoms and the Pauli exclusion principle which states that no two electrons in an atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers. Question 7. If an electron has quantum numbers of n equals 2 and l equals 0, what is the shape of its orbital? When the principal quantum number n is 2 and the angular momentum quantum number l is 0, the shape of the orbital is spherical. This corresponds to an s orbital. In each principal energy level n, the s orbitals are spherical and the l value of 0 also indicates an s orbital regardless of the value of n. So in this case, we are describing a 2s orbital, which is a spherical orbital in the second principal energy level. Question eight. If you have quantum numbers n equal three and l equal two, how many different orbital configurations can you have for that subshell? For quantum numbers n equals three and l equals two, which is the d orbitals, we need to consider the magnetic quantum number m sub l and the spin quantum number m sub s to determine the number of configurations. So for l equals 2, m sub l can have values from negative 2 to positive 2, i.e. negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2, totaling five different orientations for the d orbitals. And for the spin quantum numbers, m sub s, each orbital can hold up to two electrons with opposite spins. So for each m sub l value, there are also two possible spins, positive a half and negative one half. Therefore, 
In total, we have five different orientations and two spins per orientation. So we simply do five times two, which gives us 10 possible configurations for the electrons in this particular subshell or the 3D orbitals. Question nine, if an electron has quantum numbers of n equals one and l equals two, what is the shape of its orbital? Actually, this scenario is not possible according to the rules. The angular momentum quantum number l, which determines the shape of the orbital must be in the range of zero to n minus one. So for n equals one, the only possible value for L is zero, which corresponds to an S orbital, a spherical shape. An L value of two would require a minimum principal quantum number of three, as it would indicate a D orbital. Question 10, what is the significance of the shapes of atomic orbitals? The shape of an atomic orbital determines how electrons are distributed around an atom's nucleus and how they overlap with orbitals from other atoms. This is critical in understanding the nature of chemical bonds and the physical and chemical properties of molecules. So for example, if two atoms have an outermost shell that is an A1s orbital, they are likely to bond due to compatible symmetries and energy levels. So that's about it for this video. If anything was confusing, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Until next time.